Okay, so I've over 60,000 followers on YouTube. I'm not gorgeous <laughs> and I haven't spent a fortune on equipment. If you want to see how I made this light box on the cheap, stick around and I'll show you. So today I'm making a softbox. My camera equipment is not great. The better the light, the better the quality of the video. So I've got an old microwave box. Literally, I cut this one in half. The box came like this. I just sliced it all the way around the side and I've got half a box. The other half of the box, I'm gonna show you in a minute, is actually a softbox right now. But this is essentially what I did. Now you're gonna need, you know, your box, some aluminum foil, such as this. I've been using this craft glue. You know, you spray this on the inside of the box and just put your aluminum foil on, sticks like magic, brilliant. Um, and then you need a light source. Now, the problem with my light sources is these are too bright. So this is an 80 watt LED light, you know, an outside light. And they were given to me for outside, but I thought I'd repurpose them and make some fairly decent um, soft boxes. So that's it, it could be anything. It could be like a bulb, a screw and bulb. You just need a holder. So I'm making this box to suit, you know, my, my light. And essentially what I'm gonna do, this is really easy to do. You know, that light's gonna sit in there. Now, the reflector on this LED light is already designed to, you know, spread the light. So I reckoned I didn't really need to do that inside the box. You'll see a lot of soft boxes and they'll have angle sides, you know, to throw the light, diffuse the light and, and spread it. So in any case, um, I reckoned I didn't need to do that. So I'd get away one, one of these cardboard boxes. Now, if I had a bigger box, cardboard box in the house, I would have done it, but I'm just making use of what I have. <laughs> Recycle, you know, simple. So anyway, look, that's it. I have one side still to do on that. I'll just show you how I do this and that's it then. Right, just figure out how long you need on your tin foil. This would have been handier if it was in the box with the serrated edge. Okay, so the edge that's not done, I'm just gonna spray some of this stuff on it. This stuff is great. I'm not trying to cover the whole box, just do a couple of lines in it. And one near the top. And into the corners. And that's it, this couldn't be easier. Get some tin foil, aluminium foil. Push it in. And just smoothen it and push it to the back. Now essentially that's my softbox now. So I just need to trim that edge. Now you could use the scissors and I have a knife. Just a big bread knife. This was actually very handy for cutting the um, cutting the cardboard. So I'm literally just gonna do this. Okay, that bit's scrap now. And what I'm going to do now is just go around the edges of the box with some aluminium tape. I actually had this, I didn't, so I haven't bought anything for this, I had the box. Uh, raided the kitchen for the aluminium foil and uh, we're just going to go around the box with that. So I'm just going to tighten this. This will support the whole soft box. Now the problem is these brackets are very flimsy so I will be replacing the brackets. I'm going to make a couple of brackets for it. Very handy to do. But look, I know you can buy soft boxes for, you know, 50 quid, 50 euro, whatever, 50 dollars. Um, but I had tripods, I had the lights, and I had cardboard and aluminium foil. So I thought, okay, I'll just make one myself. So the next question is, how do I hold this box onto that? It just wants to fall off, right? Okay, so that's actually very easy. Um, that's what the box looks like. You know, it doesn't look bad at all. It's a sh this way up, sharp microwave box. Now the other end of this box that the microwave came in is one I've done earlier. So I'm gonna show you that now. So I've got some two by one timber, one by two as they call it in the States. Um, I drilled two holes near the end, straight through it, through the cardboard box, and I'm gonna show you the other side now, another one behind it. And what it does then is it has a lot of surface area and can hold the whole thing. So any light that gets in here wants to be bounced around the box and out. You know, if I needed a different configuration, just put a different box on it. Now this is flooring underlay, you know, laminate. This is just the foam stuff that goes under that. I just staple the corners and I put a second layer on the inside because this light is very bright, it's 80 watts. But other than that, it works great. And that's it, I just sprayed the outside of the box black just for the crack. There's my two by one or one, um, one by two timber. 
and another piece on the bottom and it just clamps on the whole the whole lamp clamps around the lamp so these brackets are a bit crap they're just too lightweight for all of this weight so what i'm going to do is make up a couple of brackets out of some heavier steel i've got some here i'll just drill a few bend you know two bends and, a, and three holes and that's it i'll have it sorted but uh, in the meantime this is actually a working um a working soft light soft box so i'm going to put that back in operation now i'm going to show you some other stuff so I've been asked what sort of equipment I use for YouTube. Um, you know, I have about 160 or 170 videos up on YouTube on one channel, the Jerry's DIY channel at the moment. And uh, you know, the videos at the start were a lot rougher than the videos now. I'm not saying the videos now are great, <laughs> but they're a bit better. I can edit better and stuff like that. Uh, but my equipment hasn't changed a whole lot. This is still kind of, you know, shoestring operation. And I'm gonna show you how I get through it. Now, I've already shown you a light box that I made, and I'm actually using that. That light box is off to my side here, and I'll show you that in a second. And I have one that was professionally manufactured, and it's brilliant as well. It's off to my left, and uh, I'm making this one. So I'm gonna have three shortly, because I'm either down this end of the shed, or I'm up there, um, you know, near the burner. Now that's it, I cut a box in half. That gave me two boxes, and I lined them with aluminum foil. I used some aluminum tape then, just to kind of secure the whole lot, and, um, and I've got two light boxes now, two soft boxes. And you know, they're very good. I already had the tripods, I already had the lights. So, you know, if you take that out of the equation, it costs little or nothing to, um, to actually make them. This um, uh, laminate flooring underlay is great as a diffuser. Um, and that's it, I have two of them now, so they'll be used in, uh, in um, you know, future projects. So look, if you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here. If you're already a subscriber, thanks very much. It's great having you around, really. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now, good luck. Thank you.